Hi, I'm Lindsay Oates. I'm the head volleyball coach at the University of Northern Colorado, and this is our very first UNC Volleyball Coaches Show. This has been a dream of mine to do for a little while, and I have three reasons. One is the obvious. We want to promote UNC Volleyball. We want people following. We want people in the stands, and uh, just the more people excited about UNC Volleyball, the better. The second is my major in college at LSU was mass communications. I thought I was going to be the next sideline reporter or talk show host or anything along those lines. And so I have a passion for it. It's obviously not what I'm doing as a full career, but I love being on either side of the camera and interviewing people and telling stories. And um, so this will be a little taste of that. And third is uh, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, and in the 90s, I don't think I missed a single episode of the Oprah Winfrey Show. And so this is my little taste of being Oprah, where I get to interview cool people, celebrities. These will be local celebrities, our players, our coaches, some special guests in our community. Um, and I get to play Oprah for a little bit. So I get to fulfill a dream, and hopefully it's entertaining and useful for fans of UNC Volleyball as well, and hopefully creating some new fans. So. Here we go. First installment, we are ready to kick off our season. Tomorrow is our home opener against none other than Stanford, number three team in the country. We are so excited to play a top opponent like Stanford. To be quite honest, I was hoping they were number one in the country in the preseason polls. They got a lot of first place votes uh, because whether they have a one or a two or a three next to their name, they're good. They are very good. They are loaded from last year. They return all of their starters and we get to be their first test towards them pursuing a national championship. Our goals are to be advancing in the NCAA tournament. And so this is why we want this match. We need to see a benchmark of how we match up against a top 20 opponent. And we can see what our strengths are and how we can uh, score against these types of teams and how we can defend these types of teams. And we definitely have some strengths that I think will show up tomorrow night. We're also going to see what we need to work on. And that way we have the next three and a half months to prepare for that. This will be our benchmark to get better and keep improving so that we are going to win that match come December. After Friday night, we follow that up with Kentucky, another top 10 team, 10th in the country, six-time SEC national champion, or six-time SEC champion, national champion in 2020. So no, no small foe either. We'll see physical, fast opponents in these next two matches. And we're excited to have a great crowd to see great volleyball. Following that, we'll have our two in-state matches against Colorado State and Colorado. So we'll talk more in detail about that next week. Let me share a little bit about our players. We have some returning seniors that are going to be fun to watch. So starting with Mackenzie Harris, she's our local fan favorite from Eaton, Colorado, a little biased towards Eaton being from Eaton myself. Um, and she is returning for her fifth season. At one point, we honored her as a fourth year senior. She wasn't sure if she was going to return based on her academic plan. But lucky for us and lucky for UNC Volleyball fans, she is back and is going to graduate in December now. She kind of postponed undergraduate graduation. She's two-time Big Sky Tournament MVP. She loves to turn it on when it matters. She's a great clutch player. Uh, she's athletic. She takes big swings. And we're excited to have her as a sixth rotation outside hitter again. Sid Cole, our setter, our quarterback of the team, is back for her senior season. We hopefully get two senior seasons out of her, like I just mentioned with Kinsey getting two senior seasons. Sid will be in her first of two senior seasons. And she's going to touch a lot of balls and run our offense. And we're excited that she's in a Bears jersey and on our side of the net doing that. The other notable player is Michaela Boone. So Michaela got married this summer. We all call her Boone. So she's going to continue to go by that name. But her married name is now Michaela Robertson. Uh, but we will still continue to call her Boone. If somebody said that we had a Michaela on our team, I might argue with them because we never call her Michaela. It all She's always just gone by Boone. She introduces herself as Boone and that nickname will probably stick forever. So we're excited to have her in the Libero position, Big Sky Cola Bear of the Year last year, and she's going to lock down our defense and passing. So there's a glimpse into our roster. You're going to not want to miss it. 
We have an exciting schedule. We have an exciting team to watch. And we want you to be there as a part of it. Go Bears!